sharing our knowledge on all things Jack's Beach. That's tomorrow right here on River City Live. Mark Eden. Thanks so much, Rance. Well, it's Women's History Month, and you don't hear a lot in the history books about women playing football in the history books, but nowadays more than ever. And we have, if you're an original Jaguar fan, you'll know kicker Mike Hollis, and also Terry McGriff is with us right now from the Women's Tackle Football League. Now, Mike, I'm not sure if if you're hearing us now or or not yet. Yeah, kind of. So so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will uh, relay questions through Terry if we need. Well, to. he's a kicker and he's used to work under pressure, so we <laughs> wanted to throw this at you, and he's fine with it. He's fine. Yeah, with he's it. he's rolling <laughs> with it. So so guys, um, Terry, if Mike can't hear us, we're interested in knowing what the Laces Out Foundation is. Uh, Laces Out Foundation, we are um, a, a all-women's football kicking camp. We are raising uh, opportunities for females uh, to uh, participate in the sport of football, and we're teaching um, the special teams aspect of, of, of the, the game, you know, kicking, punting, snapping, um, kickoffs as well. So giving these girls an opportunity to showcase their skills. And Mike, you know, I just want to jump in here. We were talking earlier. I have a little bit of a background with punting and kicking, and one of the things, camps really take you to the next level figuring out that specialty and like it sometimes it's just a, a little twist to your technique that makes all the difference in the world. So for girls out there that want to give this a shot, they really don't need that much of a background, correct? They could kind of come out to the camp, explore it, and it might be a, a new thing that they could do. Yeah, you know, it's um, a lot of a lot of times um, we get a lot of soccer players. So there's all obviously skills that uh, come from that sport as well. But um, we're going to teach a lot of basics. But the stuff that I teach is is, is very um, intense for for the the experienced um, athlete as far as the kicker is concerned. But uh, we're going to go over very basic stuff, and and I'll even demonstrate. I'm 48 years old, and I can still kick a ball pretty well. So uh, we'll we'll definitely uh, give them a lot of, of things to work on for sure. And Terry, what is what has been your experience with women in tackle football and the perception and how much has it grown over the past few years? Well, women's football is probably the fastest growing element of, the f of football, tackle football. I mean, there's the team, at least in every major city in the United States, um, we had our league in going into our inaugural season with the Women's Tackle Football League here, and we have 20 teams across the country from here in South Florida all the way through to Tacoma, Washington. And what we're doing is bringing more awareness that the ladies can play football at this level. They can contribute at the high school level and, as you now know, the college level, especially through special teams. And working with Mike and the Laces Out Foundation, we're really doing a way to try to bring and enhance those opportunities for those ladies. And in the process, you're helping the DEMP project. What is the DEMP project? The Here. DEMP project is something that's near and dear to all of our hearts. The DEMP project is a organization here in, based in Jacksonville. Their whole goal is to help eradicate sex trafficking and sex slavery throughout the United States, and especially here locally. As uh, most people know, according to the sex trafficking hotline, Florida is the third largest market for sex trafficking in the United States. And uh, Jacksonville is one of the major hubs because of all the, the ports and all of the, the uh, different roadways we can get in and out. So with this, we're trying to raise awareness and raise money to try, try to help the DEMP project. And we have a goal right now. We have a GoFundMe going on, and we're trying to raise um, at least $25,000 in the next few days. So if you would please go to the website, that we greatly appreciate that. That is great. And what is the website for that? It is thedempproject.org. Also, we have the lacesfoundation.com. Okay, so for the uh, for the camp that's coming up, and, and Mike, I apologize that today we couldn't do a kickoff with you and Mark because I think I had mentioned to you that Mark played college football and was the kicker, and I think that it would be great the next time you come by, maybe we can meet some of these young ladies that are so talented. Absolutely, that would be awesome. So I know you Maybe next time we'll do like little like onside kicks or squib kicks. I don't know what my kicking game's up to these days. We'll have it fun. <laughs> <laughs> I had visions of us putting windows out and things like that. But it wasn't meant to be. For windows today. And, and hamstrings. <laughs> hamstrings going out so, too. So, what, what is the date of the camp? The dates of the camp, mm -hmm. um, March 17th, uh, 27th and 28th, I'm sorry, March 27th, 28th, uh, down in uh, Davis Park, down in Ponte Vedra. Perfect. So the Laces Out Foundation is where people can go for more information, not just on the camp itself, but also on the DEMP project. And we certainly appreciate you bringing that to our attention as well. And it's great to see you both. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to be right back with more River City Live. When there's hope.